What's up to YouTube? This is your boy Scott Free, and this is the Sounds of Sunday. Thank you for tuning in this afternoon on this May 31st, Sunday of 2020. Coming up is my R&B music mix right here on the Sounds of Sunday. I'm right back.
extended R&B music set was one by Joe Begal with Chicago and kicking off this R&B music mix for today was Toe Jam by Diamond Ortiz right here on the South Sunday. Thank you for tuning in this afternoon on this May 31st. Shout out to all my Geminis out there celebrating birthdays, especially my sister Donna. Uh, we call her Nana back home in Pittsburgh from the birds. Anyway, Shout out to all my Geminis out there on this May 31st, Sunday, 2020 show. Um, actually, I just want to actually give my condolences out there to um, the um, Floyd family out there. Um, seem like we did. I don't know what's going on here, but um, as a military, uh, former military um, security force official, um, this is actually turning into a lot of, um, to me, in my opinion, domestic terrorism, okay? I'm glad that officer, um, well, that former officer, now citizen, is actually being arrested, has been arrested, but trying to give him uh, murder three is a slap in the face. I'm not sure what that is because if he was in the military, he would be in Leavenworth, Leavenworth right now serving time in prison, okay? That was actually a blatant um, act of murder, in my opinion. Um, which actually entailed an illegal uh, chokehold, okay? It's illegal by the Geneva Convention. So uh, my condolence to the Floyd family and also to the Arby family too. Uh, we're still going through, basically still going through that in our community. But I just want to actually <clears throat> let, you know, give my opinion on this um, devastating act of uh, murder. Uh, in the first degree, not third degree. Okay, to me, that was actually trying to trying to appease the uh, people out there protesting to bring him in under custody, not arrest, custody. That means protective custody. That means that they're protecting him, not 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 charging him. They're protecting him under protective custody. He is a citizen that doesn't apply and that should not apply under state law. Okay. Um, there's a citizen that committed an offense and he needs to basically <clears throat> be um, tried under the law as a citizen, not a state official. Okay. Not sure why, why that is, but I think that's, that's just to keep uh, keep the riots down, keep the protests down. Okay. Um, anyway, coming up is my smooth jazz music mix. 
right here. The sounds of Sunday. Right back.
closing lights were cut by Nor L Block B with Prophet 7. And before that, you heard Sunny over the horizon by Rage. And on this extended smooth jazz music mix, you heard one by Diamond Ortiz called Species. And kicking off this um, smooth jazz music mix was the Brothers Records with Sleeplessness. I like that. Uh, I like that cut. I like to put it in rotation because <clears throat> it's a nice little smooth uh, jazz mix right here on the sound Sunday. Thank you for tuning in this afternoon. I am your host, Scott Free, on the Sound Sunday Radio Show. Uh, last weekend, actually, I, I actually didn't come up with my show yet um, on tour Memorial because actually I've been invited to a <clears throat> well, actually um, put on put together a nice little barbecue on Saturday, so I was kind of wore out. Um, on Sunday, I didn't come up with my show on Sunday, uh, taking a little break. Okay, but I'm back up today on this May 31st. Shout out to my Gemini's again, especially my sister Donna. Shout out, Donna, happy birthday <coughs> from your brother. Um, like I said, my condolences again go out to the Floyd family and all the protesters out there that's angry and um, rightly so. Okay. Um, this former officer um, now is a citizen and he should be tried under the law, okay? Not as a state official. He's no longer a state official, but like I said, in my opinion, he's actually been brought in as under protective custody, okay? They say custody, that means protective custody. That doesn't mean arrest, okay? So you all need to get that together. Does not mean arrest. And they gave him, um, charged him with a basically a third degree murder charge, which is a slap in the face, okay? <clears throat> so I understand my, actually people out there, black, white, um, all cultures and all around the country, okay? This is not just national in, in America. This is all around the country, including the African Union. And shout out to African, my African Union brothers and sisters out there. Um, just my opinion. Like I said, this guy actually, as a civilian now, he if actually he was in under military um, jurisdiction, he would have been in Leavenworth already right now, okay, serving the prison time. So I'm not sure what's going on, and I'm not sure why they hesitated again to uh, bring this guy under arrest, not custody, under arrest. He is not no longer a state official. He's a citizen, okay? So, like I said before last time, my, my show, um, you all got to actually, you, have to, you all got to actually prepare, okay? Basically, it seems like, in my opinion, it's a war, it's a, basically a war zone right now. I'm not sure why, but um, this teeters on domestic violence. I know they're getting the, the uh, National Guards out there to protect property, not people, property, okay? And the president was actually making, you know, <clears throat> make it a gesture on Twitter, Twitter about sending dogs out because they were protesting in D.C., all right? Mr. President, actually, I have to tell you, it wasn't black people that was looting, okay? It was undercover um, people of different Caucasian persuasion, okay, which got caught on camera, all right? So when you start blaming black people and calling, basically calling them basically savages, I'm not sure, I'm not saying you did. I'm saying you have to actually look at the fact who's starting this, okay? It's the same type of people that actually started the fire at the other zone, okay? They got caught, okay? So what's, what I, I believe this should be an apology, well, especially if you actually were calling out black people, okay? Black people are tired. We're tired. We need to start. Basically, ladies and gentlemen, this is a war zone right now. And you need to be, you need to actually start preparing, okay? What that means is get a license to carry. Get a license, get some training, okay? For defensive uh, protection. Defensive protection, not offense. You want to go out there, you don't want to go out there shooting and blazing because you will be brought down, okay? I am a former, um, former security official, okay? You want to be able to protect yourself. Now get out there and be flaming. Okay. Also, if you're out and about, try to take a witness with you. And another thing too, 
I want to tell my people something. You know, actually, if you see something like this, especially with the George Floyd, Floyd's incident, okay, you as a citizen have a right to detain that officer under citizen's arrest, okay? You can actually, you don't have to just stand there and let that officer or let these officers continue to violate, to violate someone's rights, anybody, right? Civil rights, okay? You have the right to bring that, <clears throat> bring these people under civil arrest, okay? Citizens arrest, you can actually do that. I wouldn't advise it, but you did that. Um, I do, make sure you have witnesses, okay? Make sure you have witnesses. You can bring those officers under arrest, citizens arrest, okay? And if it's by gunpoint, I'm not sure, I'm not gonna tell you to, to point guns at these, these officers. But what I'm telling you is you can make a citizen arrest right there on the spot because you're witnessing a, a, you're witnessing a witnessing an officer's crime in progress, okay? And that is the law, okay? So don't be scared out there and just, just saying, just saying, get off of them, get off of them, whatever. Get you some witnesses around and place these officers, place these citizens because they're still citizens. They work for the state, but they're still citizens. Place these citizens under civil arrest, under citizens' civil arrest, okay? You could do that, all right? I would advise them because what we're seeing is people being bystanders instead of actively participating in your civil rights, okay? while they're violating other people's rights. That's my opinion, okay? Anyway, coming up, this is the last portion of my show is my international music mix, right on the South Sunday. I'll be right back.
one by Francis Creevy with Classic. That's C-L-A-S-S-I-Q-U-E. Okay? Nice little cut. Before that, you heard Matt Harris with Rubber Dub. And before that, you heard Doug Maxwell and Meteorite Productions with Reggae. What? And kicking off this international music mix was by Vibe Tracks with Duty. Daddy. That messed up something. Right on the South Sunday. Thank you for tuning in this afternoon on this May 31st, uh, 2020 show, Sunday. Shout out to all my Geminis out there. Um, people be out there, be safe, okay? Um, I know they're, they're trying to loosen the restrictions and stuff like that, but that's for businesses, not for people, but for businesses, okay? So they still do, a lot of business still require people to wear their masks going inside and keep social distancing, okay? Um, this is a normal, this is a new normal, folks, okay? New normal. No, not sure how long this is going to go, but this is a new normal because people after all of this is, uh, coming the restrictions are lifted people are still going to be paranoid and thinking they're going to catch um, the COVID-19 okay so just look for that but businesses right now are suffering uh, because of shutdown okay so <clears throat> like I said before a couple of my shows before previous what you all need to do especially in my community you need to get the, that stimulus package if you get the second one you need to take $500 out get a contract in your neighborhood, 20 people, contract, $500 a piece. Find you a building where you can lease, a commercial building where you can lease, grow and get a, bring up a grocery store, okay? And you need to start doing that. Uh, you know, this is not time to play out here right now because what I'm thinking, in my opinion, coming up right soon will be food shortages, okay? So you need to, you need to get um, your grocery stores intact, and especially in my neighborhoods. Okay, get your grocery stores intact and get your, you know, 20 more people, $500 a piece, and have them um, as your suppliers. They go out and get everything that that, um, that grocery store needs, okay? Supply that grocery store. After that, um, there's other things, you know, that you can do within that community. So, uh, this is, actually, I bit, put this out on a couple of my shows, um, well, about three shows back. So, if you get a chance... Subscribe and go back and check those check that video out. Okay. Anyway, this show host is Scott Free and this is the Sounds of Sunday. Later. Huh?